Hi, in this video, I'll be covering the spark line visual. So first what I'll do is I'll go to my get data tab here and I'll go on Excel and I'll import my Excel file into Power BI. So the one we'll be working with is called, uh, let me just find it. So yeah, it's called insurance claims. So let's just give this a moment and so that we can see the number of sheets inside the Excel file. So there is just one sheet. This is called yearly claims and we have the years and the claims so there's not much change that is required here so i'll just click on load once i click on load if you come to the fields pane within a couple of seconds you will see that the data has been loaded into power bi so you see that the claims and the year from the excel file are already here and now we'll go to the ellipsis we'll click on the three dots we'll click import from app source and then this is the power bi visuals marketplace so this is the my organization tab that you have here so sometimes organizations themselves create some custom visuals and they, that are available to use only for the employees of that particular organization so you can find that under, under those if your organization does create custom visuals or else you can just come to marketplace and find the visual you want so the one we'll be working with yeah, so the one we'll be working with is called the spark line. And so there are, is this spark line by OKWiz. Okay Earlier there was an, another one, <coughs> but that has been taken out, I think, because that was like there was not much detailing to it and it looked very plain. So we'll do this spark line by OKWiz. Okay and the visual has been imported if you look at it right here all the visuals that you import will show up up show up right here so i click on the visual i will expand this so that it is visible to all of you and let's get started so you click inside the chart first and then i'll select my year now you see that the year has been brought into values but the thing is that my year has been summarized do you see the sum i mean there's no point in summarizing the year so what i'll do is i will click on my year field and I'll go to modeling view. No, actually, I'll come. We have the custom tools view here. And the summarization, we'll change that from sum to don't summarize. Yeah. So I'll do this again. So I'll click on my year. I want my year in my axis. And remember that we have not summarized this. We have, the, we have turned the summarization to don't summarize. And now we'll have our claims and our values and you see a spark line you see a beautiful spark line so if you hover around you'll see the tooltip on each one of them so this is great this looks great now there are uh, remember that the spark line shows trends for over a time period so this is what you're seeing from the year 2014 to the year 2005 so this is the Spark line that you see in front of you. Now let's go to the formatting options and look at the formatting option that we have avail available here. You can increase the text size. You could uh, have value labels turned on. So you see that this shows the 1.8 billion and you want the sum of all values or you want the average. So that is up to you. You can bump up the text size and you can always edit the line. So set to zero you could have that if there are some missing data points in between so we'll just ign ignore them you can turn the baseline to zero you can change the appearance as well so you want it to be smooth you can do that you want it to be straight you could have that as well you want them to be like steps you could have that as well you could bump up the size the thickness of the line so you could have that so let's pick this back to actually stepping looks better you could change the color as well you could do that as well that option is available to you you could turn on the area option and this will highlight the area you could make it completely black you could increase the transparency or decrease it whatever you, you want it's totally up to you and then so for example if you go back to the fields option you have the target value target area minimum target area maximum so you have these fields available as well if you have more data available with you so depending on what the sort of data you could use that for those fields so that option is not uh, something that i can explore right now because it's 
if we change the color nothing's going to happen because we don't have that available here we don't have those fields so now if you want we could see all the points but now this looks a little ugly so we'll go back to line and we we'll reduce the thickness weight as they call it and yeah now this looks better so you want to see the highest point you can have that as well you can have the different colors you can change the colors of the current points so this is now this visual has been developed by okvs they have a couple of visuals that have, they have developed themselves i'll just show it to you so one second So OKWiz has developed a couple of visuals. You could go to the website and have a look at the visuals that they have developed and you can you get a demo also as to how the visual works and you can ask questions as well and you can download the version for free and usually these are available on Power BI. So they have enabled this option within here. So I think these are the way the colors change. I mean the look of the so you see that the colors have been changing it doesn't doesn't make that of a difference unless you have a lot of data it talks about the version you can have a title you could turn on turn off the background you could turn on the background you could lock the aspect ratio you could put on a border as well so this looks great so this is the spark line which will by okay with so i hope you learned something new thank you and keep uh, keep watching the videos on the channel and subscribe to the channel for more new content on Power BI, Tableau and other business intelligence tools. Thank you.